So chat, let's talk about You know what? It's actually so sad, bro. Like honestly, when I see this news, bro, I was like, yo, there's absolutely no way this shit happened. So, as y'all know, we was on stream last week, and we were talking about a few specific individuals. Some know who I'm talking about, some don't, all right? Let me pull up the IG. Now, the reason that I felt so f***ed up is because it's like, when I heard the news, I thought it was one person, but then I found out it wasn't just one person, it was two people. So, it was multiple of y'all DMing me and talking about this. I'm gonna just look at his story, because I didn't look at I just seen the messages y'all sent me, and I was like, yo, when I get on stream, I'm going to just talk about it. So, I see my boy's story, and it was this, right here. So, I was like, what the f***? Whose car is this? But then, chat, I didn't even see this part of the video because I stopped before I could get to this part of the video. So, I see the first part and then my boy sent me this. That shit is crazy. That's crazy. So, the story says, update, both cars were fully tucked and had everything relocated. Just something went faulty and the first car caught on fire and the gas trail led to the second car and it went up. They tried to put it out but couldn't. So, the first car was this car. We literally spoke about it last stream. We literally were just talking about these cars last stream, bro. The first car in the video was this one and then the second car in the video was this one, okay? You guys can see my messages right here. It was both of them. What the fuck? Nah. Yes, bro. Yes. What the actual fuck? They rerouted the tanks, but not the lines. He sent me this video. Then he sent me this video right here. And this is where you can see the other car on fire, right? And now, honestly, chat, I don't wish this upon my worst enemy. Honestly, bro. Because I know they just popped out. At least I think they just popped out. And we were literally just saying, like, bro, this dude's going to f new measures and Tucking half the wheel, everything, bro. I was just saying it. And then to see his car like this, it was crazy because he even DM'd me right after stream and shit, sending me videos of it. Bro, tucking half wheels, got that car when he was 14. Damn, he got that car when he was 14. Not gonna lie, the second you mod your car, you should carry a fire extinguisher. But see, this is the thing. My other boy hit me up and basically said that the first car was driving and I guess was leaking gas and his shit sparked and then the one behind him sparked and caught fire honestly i don't even know who's at fault here bro i know they're friends and like that it's just like an unfortunate situation and honestly i was looking forward to seeing these cars bro now the reason i was so like nervous when this happened was because i was like yo the gti you guys know the gti with the way the fuel tank is and like that it's really f and i do leak gas sometimes out the filler neck because i have a hole in my God forbid, like I said, chat, nothing ever happens like this to y'all or to me because that is so scary, bro. And I know just like all the work they put in, it just goes to waste, bro. Fix that shit, midgets. One spark is all it takes. Bro, that's what I'm saying. And we see the video of his car. He be sparking crazy, chat. Get a fuel cell. Supposedly, they both had fuel cells or not fuel cells, but their gas tank in the trunk, chat. And I don't have my shit in the trunk, but this is like the third or fourth person that I've seen with fuel tanks in the back that caught fire. It's tubbed, can't replace. Lines weren't routed right. Yeah, and that's what he was saying too. The lines were still under the car. They didn't reroute the lines or whatever. Like, I just don't understand how that happens bro i don't get it bro let's watch their stories though okay prayers going out from sweden hope y'all recover wow bro can't believe i just woke up to this my favorite gs out there man happy you're okay though yeah see so this is the other car right here chat this is the civic and from my knowledge he was sparking 24 7 bro it's just crazy because he was the second one he was the one in the back he wasn't even the one in the front so i don't know how that went i could only imagine like they both stopped in the middle of the road and they're just caught on fire this is just crazy though chat this is just sad as hell man now chat the dude s2k right here this guy hit me up and he told me that they dropped a youtube video together before this all happened so i do want to watch that youtube video see how it was before we do that though let me go and look at the other guy's story just in case he has something we didn't see let me see yeah we've seen this all right had the car since 14 and see all the work burned to pieces hurts and it's a tough pill to swallow appreciate everyone that checked up on us that's so sad bro 
That is so sad, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We had two fire extinguishers and fire didn't go off and both of our cars have tucked lines. Oh, see? Chat, this is why it's important to read because you can't listen to all the time. Not everybody knows everything. So both our cars have tucked lines and relocated everything. Nothing under, just something went faulty on my bro's car and the gas trail led to mine and I sparked it up and caught the cars on fire. What went faulty though? A leak? But he said everything relocated. Probably a leak in the tucked lines. Could be exhaust leak. Oh, exhaust leak. I didn't even think of that. Leak in the connections. Electrical then. Pinch line. Fuel line have bolts. Maybe it backed off. Damn, bro. This thing was sparking crazy, though. To think they had everything tucked and some still happened is insane bro it's crazy because nobody really posted about that chat i only seen like two posts about it should have bagged it i thought you said someone else was leaking and he sparked that's what i was told originally but i guess that's not what happened do they have whole exhaust i don't know if they have whole exhaust with their cars being that low all right let's watch their video though he told me to watch it before this happened so let me see we'll watch this one his first post explains to wait where this is why you buy a kia they're indestructible watch the most recent reel oh wait hold on wait he talked about it on the reel hold on oh how do we miss this? Oh my god. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Damn, how did I miss this, bro? Okay, absolutely heartbroken for everyone asking what happened. A gas line or something gas-related failed. Didn't scrape a gas line off because there's all custom-made tucked up in my exhaust tunnel. So, to be honest, I don't know what broke. But my car lost power, and I got out to check when I seen a trail of fire coming towards under the car. I tried to save it. It just wasn't stopping. A little after, we was too worried about saving mines. We didn't notice. Danny hit the trail of gas and his car on fire underneath absolutely heartbroken man we put so much time and money into these cars was so dedicated on making both cars one of one in the states i never thought we could go out like this and right before gas so many long nights of preparation all to waste but also thank you to everyone at the scene who helped us load both cars thanks to lou pulling up asap with the trailers i'm so heartbroken because i was so excited with youtube for these cars we weren't even done yet but this won't be the end of the duos okay l third grade reading level okay shut the f that's just f***ed up, bro. This video looks crazy. I would literally cry, bro. I would be so sad, bro. I don't even know what I would do, bro. That's just been my biggest fear, bro. And I've been having my fire extinguisher. I just bought one for the Tesla. I should probably buy one for the GTI just in case anything ever happens. This is devastating, bro. Devastating. Let's go and watch the video, though, because I do want to see how their cars were before. You feel me? Good vibes and shit like that. Uh, daily is not even low. It's just yeah, low. yeah. Both of these cars just on uh, coilover, so they just lowered. They're not really static. Uh, lowering is clean. Yeah, Good yeah. vibes, Chad. Good Thanks. vibes. The video y'all been waiting for probably not y'all probably don't even care but we finna take that car out to mob this one we mobbing then go pull up to this one little car me my boy nick is hosting i think the main thing we just getting a video out and we mobbing chat you gotta give him his props though that sh was on the floor bro Danny over there over here it's a whole new setup y'all haven't even seen it last video it was all like a clown car got new wheels and we just need the bumpers too so right now he riding with no bumper it's all good they outside it looking good but uh yeah, yeah, let's get let's get into it we're gonna have a little bit of rubbing the uh alignment in the front is good but like since i raised my subframe even more like uh -huh. the whole alignment just went to the left so the whole steering wheel is just chopped the alignment's all right but i still need to take it to an actual alignment shop oh whole lot of read okay whole lot of read Damn. Okay, you see what I'm saying, chat? Correct me if I'm wrong, chat. I don't think anybody in the U.S. is tucking like this right now. I am. I am. Bro's tucking center caps. Bro, GTI tucks hard, but I don't know about this hard. This is extreme. I'm not tucking this hard, bro. That's extreme. That's a brand new lane. Damn, bro. Literally, as soon as we pull in, I just see everybody pulling out. Damn, it'd be like that. I felt this that. This is why we cannot have I felt nothing. that. We literally just trying to have a peaceful meet. Shut down as soon as we pulled up. Can't even have fun. Quarter is dead ass four inches from First the center cap. First time we pull the cars out, it gets shut down, bro. It's Ooh. crazy. Bro, you can see. Look at the thing right here. Look, chat. Look how low. You can see the mark. I'm assuming that's the mark from the car, right? That shit is shut crazy. down, bro. It's Mike crazy. Tuck 2. Yeah, it got shut down. Nick literally just texted me right now. It got shut down. Bro, we over here just trying to leave. Look at this. Damn, cops be on. I think it's over. Bro, look at this. I got literally one, two, three cop cars on me right now, bro. Three cop cars on me. I'm just waiting on it. I know he's going to pull me over. JJ's, buddy. I think 
is over. Bro, Dang. chat, once that cop make that second turn with you, is raps. For sparking, Danny sparking, bro. I think it's That's raps. Oh my god, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just pull over, bro. Just pull and over. Yes, following us. Just pull over, bro. Reflector. God. Oh Jeez. my God, bro. At 9 a.m. Uptown Charlotte. All right. Need to get uh, the registration taken care of. You need to get the inspection taken care of. All right. All right. And you got to get these wheels taken care of because that's not gonna pass inspection. Wait, Chad. They got an inspection in North Carolina? I thought that was only an up north thing. It's crazy how cops always be on for stance. It's like they never do anything wrong. Bro, but it just looks like we're doing shit wrong because this is scraping, bro. Like, if we're in the middle of the road, dodging, scraping, sparks, like, obviously cops are going to pull people over, bro. That's why they do it, though. It's a safety hazard. Did they give him a yeah, ticket, man. though? man. All right, we pulled over. We all straight now. This dude got stuck. He got stuck waiting for me. He tried to spin back and got stuck. But, um... W yeah, bands, he spun back. For sparking a lot. That's what he said. One of the cops was cool, though. Was bro, look at the marks, bro. He's scraping nonstop. That's what he said. One of the cops was cool, though. Like, he was into cars. He was a cool cop. But he was like that, um... GA is only emissions? Are, um, Not illegal, in South or it's gonna be illegal here soon. Blah blah blah. My car was throwing sparks. It's dangerous. I didn't get it on video. I forgot to record. But he basically gave me a ticket for expired plates. I knew that, but um, yeah, I didn't really drive the car like this. So I didn't care. But he got me for expired plates and for the flag. He said for the flag. the flag too. Static. Okay, flag. okay. Now he's glazing. For the flag is crazy. Watching what? this, bro. You got me pulled over. Kinda. Yeah, they was gonna get him too. He was in front of me, but I told him to leave. Like I texted him like. Like fast, I was like, leave, 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 because he was going to leave. That's just crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a baby. W do auto chat. At the end Damn. of the day, we mobbed. We outside. The cars didn't break down. Well, and the camera, they didn't break down. Danny Will flew off, but that's another discussion. Bro, look at that sh chat. What the down. f? Will flew off, but that's another discussion. Wait, his wheel flew off? Just said his wheel flew off. We're gonna talk about that. It looked crazy together though. I need to lower my car so it can look as crazy as his. Well, you know, just... Yo, cars are so funny, bro. He said, bro's rear wheels are passengers. Bro. Nah, but um, I think this is gonna be the end of the video. I'll probably get a, a little roll Damn! for the outro. But I just want to give a shout out to a couple more, people. Bro. On Instagram, they give us some motivation, no cap. Literally, the only reason these two cars are still outside Chad, is because of Instagram. Like, the community, like, y'all just motivated us to bring these cars back. W community. My guy, Tay Wavy, he, he gave me hella hacks on, like, YouTube. Like, tips and tricks, so shout out to him. Oh, wait, so Chad, none of y'all seen this. It was gonna link me to it? I know one of y'all seen this video already. Damn, that's crazy, Chad. Y'all some fake ass Bro. Bring these cars back. Liked. My guy, Tay Wavy. So. He, he gave me hella hacks on like YouTube, like tips and tricks. So shout out to him. Yeah, just shout out to everybody. The love and support just been crazy. Enough uh, emotional talking, showing what they Dude, want. Goddamn spark. Yeah, nobody want to hear. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can we relate? Oh, oh. Can we relate? Oh, yeah. Can we debate? Oh, yeah. I want debate. Oh, yeah. Yo! I don't think y'all understand like how hard it is to actually do something like this, bro. I don't think y'all understand that. That is breaking boundaries. At least here in the U.S., bro. That's breaking f boundaries, bro. Like this is not doing that. I'm glazing. I don't care. I'm glazing. Yes, all about cake. Yes, can we relate? Can we relate? Damn, that was a good video too. Hold on, chat. Chad, that was looking a good video, bro. Shout out to my Rudy, man. Hopefully you and your bro get everything situated, bro. Hopefully y'all get some new whips. Hopefully y'all do that. B2, even better, bro. Hopefully it was God's plan, bro. Hopefully. We got to look at the bright side of things. Chad, I'm surprised they're not in here. I'm surprised nobody sent them the stream yet. Because you know, y'all y'all be on it. So you saying Tay is the cause of what happened. Bro, hold on. Don't do that. Death Tay's fault. No, technically it's not my fault. It's not my fault.